we have Dan. Jonathan. I mean, the way you guys drive at 70, 80 miles, I'm doing 140. Yeah. Basically, these guys do one lap, I do two laps. Myself decided to torture the girlfriend today. The torture tool. <laughs> Sam. Apparently, is it's getting awkward now. Stop talking. It's getting awkward. Okay. I'd like you guys just to look at me for a while. Feeding? This is going to be Tony. Where's King? Thank you. Markers in place. Stand by. I'm starting to feel like you're a woman in a bar. You're following me everywhere. We try to get some of the other guys who were here to bet with us, but they got scared and nope, refused to race. Okay, what do you want to race? Yeah, I'm getting tired of smoking you boys. Oh, come on. Well, since I've whipped everybody's ass in the Aventador, I think it's only fair that I <laughs> race you or something with a wooden steering wheel. <laughs> Gotta give myself a little handicap. <laughs> I don't know about a $3 million car being a wooden steering wheel, but... It um, looks pretty wood to me, buddy. Kinda I'll make you a bet. How much? I'll bet you whatever you want. 30 grand? Let's make it even 100. You're that confident? Well, you know, you gotta give the girl something. See, that's why you're my friend. Hey, wait. Okay. Hold on, I'm in too. Okay. 100 grand. <laughs> you got, you got a not. suit on, I'm not betting you. <laughs> Hey Tony, you want me to race you and my girl in the car? At about 93 pounds. I got a helmet on, don't worry. If I were you, I would let everybody else drive the Aventador. <laughs> because you definitely are not the best driver for that car. I think the best thing to do is to let like one of the girls <laughs> drive that car. No one. I'll take the TT, is that fair? Yeah. Let's go. Okay.
They were both, we both we went were this in. far apart. Yeah. Dude, you almost crashed two of my cars at once. <laughs> How'd you do that? You almost cost me two million on a quarter. He almost hit me Baseball. twice. He, he forgot that I owned both cars and he hit, almost hit me twice and he spun out. Right <laughs> he spun out. <laughs> Get everybody together and just figure out what the rules are and let's go by the rules. No problem. I'm trying to go by the rules. I thought we are going by the rules. <laughs> Don't you go by the rules? Stop in the middle of the racetrack. Well, we had to stock. Well, we had to stock. <laughs> we can't talk? You can't put crazy people on a track, charge them, and then say, hey, what are you guys doing? That's exactly right. It's free. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that changes things. <laughs> I just can't overemphasize that you can't bring a back safety. Tony is who I'm counting on right here is to be your fearless leader, <laughs> to do everything safely, to follow all the rules. Because right? I'm the biggest fuck up, right? Like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Jonathan! Jonathan! Give that guy two grand so we can do whatever we that, want. That whole speech he gave, he just said basically, look at 2,500 and I'm going to get the fuck out of your way. That's all he was saying. This is America. There's only one thing that counts, money. What car am I getting into? If that one is not a car. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. That is not a That's car, not you got a, a point on that That's one. That's not a car. That's a go car. That's what dentists drive. No brakes. Oh, holy. Look at that. <laughs> oh my god, he fed <laughs> his car up. <laughs> He's on the phone now. That's right. a half a million dollar. Right, Tony, Here, let's grab one to get a picture. <laughs> sure. Well, this is how you drive. <laughs> hey, 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 will you get a picture of me by this? <laughs> oh, you know, he just lost control and we smashed were into you the wall. Yeah, I was. You were sitting in there with yeah, him. That's why you. he crashed. <laughs> okay, why did I crash? Hold on a second. Hold on, let me elaborate. I have no brake on this car. Okay? At 135 miles an hour, this is the best I could have done with no brake. He could say whatever he wants, but the real truth is that he applied the brakes all the way down there. This car was locked brake all the way right into the barricade. So his claim of no brakes is an absolute bullshit. I wanted to obviously see, get out of space. Try what matters is you didn't kill your passenger. Yes. <laughs> we would have had to pay a lot of money for her. <laughs> Did you know what's funny is if you would have asked me if I wanted to bet even money if he was going to put that thing in the wall, I would have offered you two to one. We could have Bet on that. This car he Come really on. likes. You would have bet that he wasn't going to crash today? Yeah, because... You hate money. <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes you got to make some crazy bets, or yeah. we can't have a bet if we both bet on the same thing. You're betting that he was... <laughs> You're telling me we didn't even bet that I crashed the car? No, well, see this? I would have bet for sure you were going to crash. Here's today. the problem. Well, I had no brakes. You will crash too. No, yeah, with That's no brakes, cool. you will hit the ground into your back. Came out of it with the minimum damage at 135 miles an hour. Yeah. <laughs> Well, let's make an Arabic. Did you hear what he said? <laughs> what? He wants to go back on the track. Oh and God. he wants to make a bet. And <laughs> whose car? <laughs> whose car? <laughs> you better say something to get home. Car <laughs> came? <laughs> the only part I don't get is how the brakes like got heated up within three minutes. He only he was only on the track for three minutes. 
I know, but it's gotta get out there with you. I don't know why you don't let anyone drive your Aventador. If I were you, I would let everybody else drive the Aventador. Let's go over the damages. Oh you got gravel all around your car. You got gravel inside your car. Not only it's outside, it's also inside. Even your navigation says you are going to hit the gravel. Look, you can there's gravel coming out of it. Your rim is bent. God, dude, look at that rim. Holy <laughs> Oh my God! Come here, come here, come here. Now. Come over so here. Look, look, at here look, at look at these fucking rims here, dude. Oh my God. Somebody took a jaw bite out of this side. <laughs> it looked like he got butt <laughs> by a saber tooth tiger. Dude, have you ever seen anything like this? Yeah, I call it at home. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that'll help. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Water on it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, call Lamborghini. The brakes are bad. You know what? <laughs> This is how you drive a car. <laughs> you should change your uh, license plate you know? to Avanta Gravel. <laughs> <laughs> at least we can all laugh about it. We're all at least wealthy. We could buy another one. That's crazy, Sam. This we can't afford it. Sam is driving on the opposite side of the track right now, just so everybody knows. Um, um, guys, we might want to get out of here. Sam is. Yeah. <laughs> what the f are you doing? Guys, I don't need to be a but this is not Pardon me? I, I don't mean to be a but this is not I've got staff, we're trying to go. Four o'clock was the rundown. You can't be driving backwards on the racetrack. They hate us with passion. <laughs> I mean, like, so bad. Like, if we try to buy a membership here, the dogs I think even if we bought their houses. Dan, when someone's complaining, it means you haven't tipped them enough. Come on, step up. Someone tip somebody. Sam, you're driving the opposite side of the street. You know how dangerous that is? It's opposite for you guys. I went the right way. He's completely out of his fucking mind. He is absolutely out of his mind. Um, you got dude, the I'm normal compared to this guy. You got the fucking guy. close second right here. I mean, I love the dude. He's the coolest dude I've ever met in my life. He, he's, uh, I'm sorry guys, he's cooler than you guys. But, he's right, but, so but you know what? I'm, these are $15,000 boots that he actually went to the jacuzzi with. Yeah. Uh, with the $15,000 boots, I wear them all the time. And he wears That's them in the jacuzzi. <laughs> <laughs> he wears them in the jacuzzi. So, Tony, what happened here today? Well, we were You're driving. Not really sure? We, we don't then, know. We, we do know. know. Okay, stop talking. It's getting awkward. Okay. I'd like you guys just to look at me for a while. <laughs> what happened to your GT today? I may have blown it. Lots and lots of smoke and not very much good noise coming out of it. I hit like about 10,000 RPMs on the thing and blew smoke out and it lost it. Really? Yeah. So you got no pull right now? No pull at all, nothing. Couldn't get over, like, couldn't get over 20 miles an hour for the last minute. The thing was gone. <laughs> Is your career okay? I don't know, I haven't tried to start up after the fucking... What incident. happened? I don't know, went, and boom! Boom wasn't really a noise that Porsche intended this to make go. <laughs> Boom's a noise I make. So, so what happened here today? Well, Jonathan was driving, and when he was driving... Okay, let's go back high and crash. 135 miles, brakes were heated up. I had no brakes, and there was a complete U-turn. So I went off the track into the gravels track. We're about four or 500 feet. Yeah. That was long distance, yeah. I actually... Me, I wasn't in the car. Well, you saw the skid marks. Um, yeah, I got really lucky. Like the No, there's no brake. It's, it's the wheel turning. It's, it's the front wheels turned 80 the degrees. 
All right, Costa. What happened? Well, the, well, the, I think the issue was the reliability of the car. Eh? <coughs> the problem was the brake fading. Probably there was air in the system, and the pedal went all the way down to the floor. So, <coughs> so the even, my brake was like a clutch. Your brake was like a clutch. Oh you pressed the brakes. And and 135 miles an hour. And on happened. a complete U-turn. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Car, eh? Well, I have something to say. Considering that uh, Jonathan hired him, and he's under payroll, I believe that anything he says should not withstand. We can check the car right now. <laughs> I don't believe anything with that car because I saw a skid mark that was at least that's, over a hundred foot. That's, 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 that's the guy was sideways. That sideways. skid mark that proves, sideways. proves. The skid mark is the next. So what is Dan, your friends are now discussing making love to me. <laughs> I don't know what else, what to, what I don't know what's next here. I mean, we're trying to explain. Uh, you wanted to get into a, a what was that? Day. You wanted to get into a Prius or something like a minute ago? That, uh, now we're all sitting around talking to each other about our feelings. <laughs>